I got this out of Lidl in August 22, £9.99. Most of you will see this brand in Lidl only, really. White Cup. Although I have seen it on Amazon. I'm a bit addicted to buying these saddles because it's in Lidl, which I think of as quality and a bargain. So with it being, say, £10, once again, as I, I've added another one to my sad, saddles. This one's Medicus Airflow. And I've only been out in it once for like a 10 mile journey. I can't really tell. I mean, it was okay, but I felt a bit as if the usual at the end. But I've not given it long enough. I think it is a decent standard, anyway. I don't know if it's spectacular. This sort of idea is so that water doesn't get up, but air gets through. It's a sort of airflow thing. And it's, it's tilting that way, or the vents. So the air's meant to get through, but the splashback from water isn't meant to get through. So that sounds quite a good idea. I like about this. It didn't feel as if my thighs were chafing much because it's, it's quite thin and narrow at this bit. I'm not sure about the nose bit of a uh, thing. I think you need it for guidance and support, but you're not actually maybe sitting anywhere near that. And you're maybe sitting with your sit bones there or something. Yeah, I don't know really. These things look a lot smaller than the ones I've bought from them previously. It says it's meant for sport and trekking bikes. They, get, they always give you this clamp. I never use the clamp. I don't know what they use. I guess you could, you know, put it on your seat post and go like that. But I just use the normal seat post I've got. You're not getting much, much width here to move it a bit, but yeah, I felt alright, I can't really say, I've only 10 miles, I mean, it wasn't bad, I don't, I just don't know if it's good. Like I say, I'm buying them because it's Lidl selling them, and it sounds like all the stuff they say. It appeals to me, but mainly the price. I have seen it on Amazon for a bit, not this one, but the other Medicus ones for, say, £16. So it's not as if Mr. Whitcock was selling these saddles at a dear price anyway, but certainly £10 is a very cheap. I just like the words Medicus Airflow, it all sounds good. This is a trick that I don't, I don't even know what size is this. Yeah, one thing I said is when your parts get warm, they get more sensitive to pain, so I, that's part of the idea of this air flowing. So I don't know how much that's true or how, what percent of difference it will make, but it sounded very appealing. Seat area, more padding for an optimal sitting comfort. No pressure area. I don't know, I felt a bit of pressure, but I've been doing a lot of cycling recently and not using that one, so I don't know if it's just I need to break this in or, or what. Need to get this, get the fitting correct. So I don't know yet. Here, ventilation effects. I don't know, I'm just a sucker for little saddles, especially by Whitcop. I thought it was maybe their own brand, but it doesn't look like it. 
maybe in Germany this, this is a well known brand. That's all I can give you, I've given you my, my best. So for the moment I can't judge it, but it doesn't seem bad. It's quite heavy, you know. It feels heavy. What did I have it around about 270 grams without the clamp? The clamp adds another 90 grams or something. But I may do another review of it later if I think it's good. Sometimes I do really long treks. I'm using it on a sort of hybrid bike. Flat bars, but sort of racing bike frame. Or a, maybe a trekking bike, I don't know, a gravel bike. Okay guys, that's all I can give you. It's up to you. Because if somebody said to me, buy that saddle for £200 then you'll never have pain ever, I would buy it. Because you can always take that seat onto your next bike. But previously I bought a saddle at £50 which I didn't feel comfy with. So I don't know if the my expectations are unrealistic or I was just unlucky or maybe I wasn't fitting that right. I'm not talking about this one because I'm going to give this a good chance because I've been reading a bit about saddles and it's really your seat bones you should even measure your seat bones by sitting down in tin foil or something like that to so that you're definitely sitting something like that with your seat bones it's your seat bones are maybe taking all the pressure. But if somebody said to me a saddle at £200 I'll never have been. I would buy it. Instead I'm buying saddles at the £10 range. Maybe a memory foam cover over them. So I'll see how I go in with this. I've got high hopes because it's little and because of these words that Dr Whitcop is using. I'm going to give Dr Whitcop a chance. And I don't think he's a made up person. I've even tried different concepts like this one, the noseless one, but I found it unstable. You know, because the nose you sort of use as a guide to balance yourself, I think. And without that, I was just all over the place. I was scared to go around a corner. So, and that cost quite a bit. And it's now part of my antiques of collection. It's quite heavy as well, 253 grams.